M0 FXB Hamtech, you know me always learning in front of you and on the right hand side here we have an all star node. This box has a radio and a Raspberry Pi inside it and effectively connects you to the world using the all star system and any ham radio operator can do this and I'm just tinkering here with the third one that I've had a go at building and there's some fault finding to do and we use putty to go into our node. Here's putty which is turned on at the moment on my desk. It's a bit of a mess. I'm too embarrassed to show it. But anyway, wires everywhere. So I just want to show you how to log into Putty and then print off what your node is actually doing live uh, just, just, just for the learning of it. So we go to Putty, which you see this window here. And whenever you boot up a node, it has a IP number, even if it's FNS. So we're going to go, I know mine is 192.168.0.106. And the port is two. This is all preset when you download the ham VoIP system, which you can see on the left. So we go enter. It asks me for my password, which is root on on all of them, I would say, unless you've changed that. So we go root lowercase, and then I've set my own password now. But the default is root again. But we enter, and we enter this menu here. And there's lots you can do with this menu. You can add your Wi-Fi if you're using Ethernet. You can start what they call a, a bash shell, which is similar to what we're doing doing now. And look, and so on. look at all this stuff. You can add, you can change your node number, change your root password, lots. But one of them is to, is the which is a really important one, which is number nine, number twelve. Here is called the Simple Tune Menu Application. Select twelve, then click Run. And these are all the things we can do now. The one that most people do in this window, they will just go to enter and they would start testing their audio. And I can test it even on this faulty node. One, well, it's not faulty, it's just not been made properly yet. One, two, one, two, one, two. And you can see there I'm testing my audio. And if I, if I press the enter button there, like so, um, it's going to say current receive value is zero. So normally it's more like 500. So let's just put in uh, enter. Let's go to, let's go back to enter five. See if it will let me do it. Um, 500, enter. And then you go enter again and you go W, enter. Okay, and it's set it to 500 and we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. If I press enter again, we should be able to see that it's 500. Yeah, it is. That's good news. Now, my problem is it's not keying, even though the audio somehow is passing through, it's not keying up on the on the note. But that's not why, that's not the only reason to show you this video. The main reason is if I go zero to come out like this, you go zero, it takes you back to the main menu. You can actually see where it says that up here. Zero. Enter. We have to, actually, we have to come out of that first. Enter. Then enter again, then go zero. Okay, back to the main menu. If I go to back into it, which is number 12, run. Then go to P at the top here, P and enter. It's printing out everything my node is doing, all right? And then we can make a copy of this. now. My problem is, it says here, cos composite, it says that it's keyed, okay? Cos test unkeyed, but I don't know. Someone tell me if they see something obvious. I know I've got to have it on USB. Uh, what else? I know that the PTT active is, needs to be on high, because if it says low, it just keys. And it's not right now saying status unkeyed. And even if I do a print when, it, when I key, the, key my mic, it's, it's not. But it says here, cos composite keyed. Not sure, I don't know what that means. So there's one that you can look at. Now we can enter zero again and go enter. And if we put in this time the V, we get this, there's more information. And to come out, you just press enter. And now see the way it says keyed. So maybe I've got a short there somewhere. So if I just press enter. Then the other thing we can do is See the way it says I, toggle PTT mode, currently active, high. Now if I, that is, can be changed to low and for different configurations, you might want it on low. So if I change it to low, all I have to do is press I 
enter and I can hear straight away my you can hear that whining noise my node has gone into transmit okay which is what I want it to do I wanted to do it when I push the PTT now if I press um, I again it will toggle it back to or change it back to what it was so press I it's gone to high okay you see here it says high so that's me changing it um, so now but if I press the PTT it won't let me although the radio does show that I'm trans that I'm transmitting it goes green yeah so um, next so the other one is quite commonly changed is J see the way J is USB so you go J enter and I just look here where it says USB change cos from mode USB J at the moment it is it says USB you press enter and you choose one of these and with the nodes that I've used it's either USB invert or USB so if I press the the one that's we're not on now so it's currently is USB if I press number three enter I've just changed it to USB invert now if I key that's not making any difference anyway so I'll leave it back to USB so let's go J enter and we're going to choose number two enter it's back to there now to save these things you you tend to have to go W enter and it saves everything okay so have a little play I mean you know what you know I'm a, I'm a always a newbie in anything that I learn and I knew I knew and know nothing about what I'm doing here but I'm willing to dive in and learn and when it goes wrong that's when you learn most because you'll ask your friends you'll look up information and you'll you'll start to learn you you know you're never going to be a, a university graduate on this if you're com coming from a newbie background just in 10 minutes you know you're not going to but you I'll tell you what you will achieve a lot just after a few hours and your confidence will really go up and you think well, yeah I'm going to give that a go but this is the way my whole channel is my channel has never been I'm the expert trying to teach everyone how to use this stuff it's always been I know nothing I'm, but I'm willing to learn and I'm going to turn the camera on and hopefully some of you will learn as well thanks very much for watching my YouTube channel 73 all the best